my name is Lily. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about um, a big significant change that I made in my life and it has to do with a lifestyle, a nutritional lifestyle that I made and that was I started doing the keto diet. Game changer for me. Let me tell you something. I am five foot one and I'm Latina and I went to go get my yearly physical last year in January of 2022. When I got my results back, I literally had my numbers flying off the roof. When I tell you off the roof, my triglycerides were like 767. My um, cholesterol was like, it was something like 668. It was ridiculous. I had my house, I bought a house and then I had my kitchen remodeled. And my, my kitchen was totally gutted. So I was eating out a lot. I'm not going to lie. It's not like I've led, led some, you know, um, negligent lifestyle that it led me to where I was at. But I am going to be honest. I, there was a lot of eating out. There was a lot of um, cooking on little Bunsen burners, quick food. There was a lot of quick microwave uh, eating. But at the, end of that, uh, at the end of it all, I literally did pay the consequences because my numbers were ridiculous. I was literally like at, at a stroke or at a heart attack point where I needed to make a significant change. So what I did was when I learned about this whole thing with the triglycerides and how the, the cholesterol and everything, you know, binds in together, it also started affecting my thyroid. And I was like, oh my gosh, I, I was like in panic mode. But one thing that I've learned to do in life is to not panic. But I was a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. So I discovered the keto diet. Now, there's just so many diets out there and, and it's like, okay, so what's gonna work? I've always been physically fit, but I kinda like had to take a step back because we've had a lot of things going on in my, in my, in my family and then buying this house and gutting it down to nothing. It was like work, house, work, house. And I kind of, you know, just put things to the side. But when we, you know, quickly got things put back up together and I started, you know, going for my, my test and getting things back on track, I actually said, I'm going to try this. Uh, the reason why is because I learned about carbohydrates. I learned about um, the significant amount of sugar and how detrimental sugar is to our, our bodies and our systems. And don't get me wrong, I love some sugar. I love sugary drinks. I like cookies. I like... I have this really, really bad thing for bagels. Like, every morning it was a bagel. If I was hungry at nighttime, I toast the bagel, put some jelly and put some cream cheese or put peanut butter, put a lot of butter, whatever it was. I was a bagel fanatic. Um, I come to find out that going into this keto lifestyle, I really didn't have to change a lot other than my carb intake. However, there were so many different modifications that I was able to do to basically eat a lot of the same things that I was eating before. Now, one thing that I was a little, little crazy for me was, you know, being Puerto Rican, it was like the rice, that was a huge no-no, but there was an alternative to the rice, which was cauliflower rice. Things like that, that, you know, might not taste the best, but you really couldn't tell a lot of the difference. Again, modifications. There's a lot of books that I bought. I had to learn and I had to do a lot of research. This is one of the books that I bought. And I'm going to tell you something. This book, I think I paid six bucks at Ollie's. I don't know if you guys have Ollie's near you. And it was by Faith Gorski. And I'm telling you, it had all kinds of recipes. It has so many different things that I was like, man, I used to eat that all the time. But I would eat it as a smoothie with a lot of sugar. Or I would eat the sausages, but then I would come out and get this. Or I would eat, you know, meatloaf, but it was with a bunch of mashed potatoes. But like I said, learning the whole thing with modifying, it just, it's a game changer. I was 170 pounds. I'm down to 134. And I like to stay there because I was a lot thinner. I was like down to 129, but I was just not looking too healthy. It just, it just took away from curves and it just didn't look right. So I kind of like, I stay and I, I kind of watch my macros. It's a whole other thing that's involved with that. And, um, it's, it's, it's been, I've been holding it consistent with that weight for, you no, know, I'd say almost close to nine, nine to 10 months, because when I lost a lot of the weight, 
at first and like I said I was too thin then I went back and I've been pretty much like consistent with the 135 134 so now um, what I try to do is I come out and I do a lot of intermittent fasting Woo! talk about game changers that was a game changer right there. It's a lot of discipline, but it's something where you, when you get to know the process of it and how it really does make all these changes with you uh, regarding your health, the rewards are, are, are amazing. So what I wanted to share with you today is the fact that my love for bagels is still you know intact, but I was sacrificing them for a year. Come to find out after watching videos and reading, I can make my own bagels. So I found this uh, keto low carb bagel diet for fat head bagels. And all it takes is, um, it's a cup and a half of flour. It's two teaspoons of baking soda, two eggs, and three cups of mozzarella cheese. And let me see what else. And it also takes, um, I also take about two and a half ounces of cream cheese. You put the eggs, to, you, you beat the eggs, you take the cream cheese and the mozzarella cheese, you toss it in the oven, in the microwave for about close to two minutes, depending on the severity of your microwave, of course. And then you just kind of like incorporate it together. When you see that you have like a little paste, you put the eggs in, start kneading it, incorporating that. And then you're going to put your dry ingredients, of course, the almond flour and the baking soda. I'm sorry, not baking soda, baking powder. That makes a difference. And when you put that together, you just start kneading it and making yourself this, this dough. And when you have it, you cut it into pieces and you make your, you know, you make your little balls, put a little hole in the middle. And then you discover that there is what's called everything bagel seasoning. When you put it on, you put the, um, you actually save a little bit of the egg actually to put, uh, to distribute it over the, the bagel so that when you put the everything bagel seasoning on it, it's, it sticks to it. And I'm going to tell you something. Let me show you what I discovered and what has been a game changer, actually a life changer for me, because after realizing that one bagel has so much sugar in it, and that one bagel is equivalent to four slices of toast. I said, oh my gosh, I've been killing myself every day, five days a week before I went to school. I mean, before I went to work. And I would send my kids to school eating bagels like every day right along with me. Um, the last time I tried this before I would share it, I actually made them. I had I made an avocado spread, like a guacamole spread. I had bacon. I had some cheese and the egg, and I put that together. Oh my gosh, I was in heaven. It was better than anything I've actually ordered from like a local a local thing. We have Wawa's where I live at, and it was even better than that because it was fresh. I made it. And um, it's something where I knew what I was eating and I knew that I wasn't going to suffer some negative consequences. But let me tell you, what, let me show you what I made. So I made the bagels according to the uh, recipe that I just shared with you. By the way, I'm going to have that linked um, below. So if you want to follow it and let me know, put in the comments if you tried it. It's a very simple, very simple. It's just like five ingredients, five or six ingredients, and it doesn't take long at all. I put it in the oven at 400 degrees for exactly 20 minutes, and they cook exactly to 20 minutes. So this is what I made. These are my bagels. And let me tell you something. Look at them. They look gorgeous. I have a serrated knife here. And these have been out of the oven for about 10 minutes. And let me tell you. They, first of all, they smell so good. And look at this. Look at that. That looks just like a regular bagel. And it tastes just like a regular bagel. And I tell you, I put whatever, whatever I want to put in there, cream cheese, whatever you want to put. You know how to make your own bagels. But I'm going to tell you something. This has been a game changer. And I also um, know that when I have that craving and I want that chocolate chip cookie, there's another recipe for that. There's recipes for the way you can make your mashed potatoes. There's, I'm going to be sharing some more recipes because as I go along and culturally how I have had to learn how to change my, 
my diet and my menu. I'm going to be sharing a lot more. But I really hope that you try this if you are a bagel lover and you're kind of like in a situation or a pinch where I was where I had to cut down on carbs and I had to cut down on sweets. The one thing with sugar really was um, a game changer for me because I suffer from fibromyalgia and I constantly, for probably the last 20 some years, I've had this right side of my body where it's always been, it's, it's always been inflamed. And staying away from the sugar and literally um, cutting down on carbs has brought a lot of my inflammation down. I always had a brace on my either my of my arm. I got, I always used to have a tendonitis wrist uh, um, a bracelet on a brace on. And I'm gonna tell you something. I don't even really use it anymore. I can work out the way I I want to work out. I do my kettlebells. I do my weights, and I don't have that feeling of. Oh my gosh, now I'm down for two weeks because I'm in excruciating pain. And one big game changer that I can honestly share is my sleep is so much better. I sleep so much better since I started keto. So if you're interested in the, in the recipe, like I said, the recipe is listed down below. And if you have any comments and you want to share how your experiences was when you made the bagels, let me know. If you have liked this video, please like and subscribe. And until the next time, have a great week and see you soon.